Welcome back to part two of second episode of Save Misty Lady. All right, it's aligned. Now we can just bolt it in. So many adjustments. I had to lift it up, moving it around because it literally was skewed. And the biggest problem, I'll get on my little garage creeper, get out of the car. The biggest problem was this. Wait, I have to shine some light. See, torque converter was sticking out, was literally touching this plate. And finally, after moving it about, you know, moving, lifting it with the jack, I was able to push it out and push it into its place and now align the bolt holes here so I can put the little screws that go over here. And now I'm gonna have to screw it in clockwise part. So first this one, then, I then turn 180 degrees, then the next one, and yeah. It's possible that it's not gonna work, but it's in. It actually fits. Anyway, I'm gonna finish up here a little bit, screw in some of those bolts. Some of the drive shaft boots were split. Let's replace them and repack the bearings with some fresh grease. So now finally, we can take out the little dipstick, set it aside, and pour in some transmission fluid. Now, apparently I have to pour in about two and a half liters, something like that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pour some now, and then we're just gonna be checking the dipstick, see if we got the correct level, but for sure now we're gonna pour two liters. So here we go. The car needs to be leveled in order to get the correct reading. But, you know, as long as we have enough, because literally inside there's nothing. There's also a liter inside the torque converter. I don't think we're gonna get a reading, unfortunately, but worth a try. Try it, see, and, oh wow, we actually get a reading. But okay, bear in mind, it's at an angle, but yeah. Let's put the rest of the car back together. We're gonna put it on the ground and let's see if it starts. So, I couldn't clip in into the solenoid because although the connectors are very similar, the inside of this connector couldn't fit to this Integra solenoid from the Civic. It's just a little bit different. So I had to take out inside of the connector and swap it with the inside of the old solenoid from the old gearbox. So now, after you swap in insides of the connector, you do this. clips easily and there we go no need of cutting wires or soldering all right let's continue then I noticed that one of the coolant hoses was leaky you see this is why I don't throw away anything this is an old hose from the Accord but it's a perfect fit for here nice all right let's get to it
need to pour some more. All right, the level's all right. Good. So everything is plugged in. Moment of truth. Let's see if I can get it out. Not bad. Yeah, I don't think you can see me, really. Can you? What about the light? Nah. All right, we'll leave the light on whilst driving. Okay, so. Here's the test drive of the gearbox from the Black Pearl inside the Misty Lady. And here we go. This first, second, <laughs> Third, what? Fourth. Oh my god. You know what is funny? As I'm driving, and I hope you can hear me, the way how now Misty Lady is changing the gears is exactly the same as the Black Pearl. I mean, it's obviously because this is the Black Pearl's gearbox. But the feeling of those specific gear changes, especially on the second gear, it's, it just brings me back to my teenage years when I was 18 and 19, 20, when I, when I was driving the Black Pearl. It just brings me back to those days because this just feels like the soul of the Black Pearl has been absorbed by the Misty Lady. It's, it's incredible. I'm so happy that she drives right now. I mean, we have a check engine light, which I don't know, I think it's the gearbox solenoid because Black Pearl also had a check engine light. And the speedometer doesn't work. It doesn't show any so anything, just any sign of life. So that'll need to be addressed. But other than that, some things to address but I guess we're gonna end it here so anyway I'd like to thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed this episode of saving misty lady and I'll see you all in the next episode and I gotta go back home but before I do that I gotta enjoy one more time of this <laughs>